everything's built up for it now, isn't it? There's a great excitement around the town. People arriving now with flags, painted faces. It's so colourful here, it's uh, a great feeling. We've waited 18 long years to, to, to have a football league promotion. Yeah, they worked ours all season to get there and hopefully we can finish it off today. This is the game. James Collins is due one. He should get a couple, I say. The official view is please don't go on the pitch. Of course they'll go on the pitch.
I think the, the pictures of, uh, of the supporters down there say it all. Terrific reception for the players, the coaching staff, myself, and uh, thoroughly deserved. It's been a great season for us. You have done this before, you know. How does it wrap up there, though? You came back, you've only been back two seasons, and you've done it again. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a terrific feeling. There's none better inside a football club when it's been successful, and, and we've had that success this season. So it's to savour, it's to enjoy, particularly those players who's. Uh, first experience of success, they should make the most of it. But it's a terrific day for the club. You have to thank the players, but what can you really put your finger on what it is, or, or just everybody just pulling together? I think what you have to do in a football club is get everybody working in the same direction, whether it's supporters, players, office staff, whoever it is, all geared up to success. And I've got to say, because of the quality of the people here, we've had that this season. You know, and uh, I think if you get that in your club, that belief that. Uh, principles and objectives right from the start of the season the players have got ver adhered to it all and done it brilliantly it says the spirit of 79 out there it's the spirit of 2012 well it's, uh, it seems a long time ago that one when i look at some of the pictures i'm embarrassed but uh, yeah we will enjoy it i mean it's a terrific occasion for everybody it's an obvious question but can you put that into words what that means oh it means the world to be fair <laughs> well that means the world to be fair that means we our aim this season was to get promoted right from the start. I thought the lads have been terrific this season. We worked hard. We had a great home record, as you see. Uh, I, can't, I can't describe it to this. I'm, I'm just thrilled for all the lads, all the staff. It's been a great season for them. You know, you, you've not been through this before promotion. Really. But you've stood up to the occasion, didn't you? Yeah, yeah definitely. I thought um, it was disappointing not to get promoted last season when we were in the playoffs. So the gaffer said this season, just let's just go for it, yeah. And I thought we've got a lot of experienced lads as well, and they, they've helped me get through the season as well. Kept encouraging me all season, and they've got me through it. And it's, we've got the result in here. It's party time. It's party time now, yeah. I think all the lads will be out tonight celebrating. So it's a bit of the what does that really mean to you? Oh, it's a great feeling, every promotion is a great feeling, it's my third one and uh, as you can see the lads are really enjoying it because a lot of the lads haven't really been up, like, got promotion but it's a great feeling as you can see the fans are delighted and just roll on next season now and now we can have a good night tonight and crack on Saturday. Yeah, party time tonight. Yeah, very party time for all the lads are out and have a few beers together and nothing will be a few sore heads tomorrow. What do you think has worked then? Because you know you missed out just on one point last season. What's really gelled in this season? Yeah, I just think uh, we've learned from our mistakes from last season, and especially our home form has been brilliant all season. So I think that's the main reason we've been undefeated, and that can uh, next season that can help us out because teams won't want to come here. We've been undefeated for like I think it's over a year, so it's a, it's a great achievement as well. Just talk to me about your part this season because you know you've been up there scoring your goals. Yeah, yeah, like I say, uh, I've managed to uh, get most, most of the goals this season, but like I say, um, a lot of the lads have chipped in, like Wrighty's in double figures, Marvin's in double figures, Terry's in double figures, so like you say, we're, we're all, we've all done our part with scoring the goals. 
What does that mean to you? Can you put it into words? Brad, this is the best best achievement of my career up to date, and uh, you got a relish the moment, so it's not going to happen again. So um, we'll have a great great night, and uh, we're going to celebrate it well. What does that mean, seeing the fans out there? Yeah, yeah, great. They've been great all season away, home and away, and uh, I think they, they deserve it. We were missed, luckily missed out in that last year by a point, and then obviously the playoffs weren't the uh, all-time best. But like you say, we've done it this year for them, and, uh, and we're really they're just proud of us. And we're, we're proud of ourselves. Yeah, like you know, yeah, like say, he's a legend of the game. He's been around, been around for years, like. And um, my daddy remembers him when he was a little. So, uh, like you say, he's been around for years and he's done this club wonders, and uh, he's managed to get us up where we belong. Oh, it means everything. It's um, I've been a very, very long time coming. We've nearly been there. This is the fourth time to actually achieve it. It's absolutely unbelievable. 16 years, and I'm absolutely delighted for everyone. What have the team and Graham, you know? they got it right this time well don't forget I've been trying to get Graham to come here since I've been chairman and there is a spiritual part of him that belongs to Shrewsbury and I had no doubts when he came back that we'd have the success that we've been desperate for Ownership, though, you know, that the fans praise you for, for what you have done. So, this is your just reward. Well, I was born here, I've lived here all my life, and it's been a life's mission, really. And I'm just delighted to have the success for the fans. And Graham has made sure that we've had that, so I'm really thankful for him and for all of the fans as well. Yeah.
medical staff, the medical staff, everybody associated with the club. Terrific. But most of all, most of all, I would like to thank you for the support all season long. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've Chances where we just didn't have enough quality for them. It's the one, it's the one effort uh, that, that released a bit of tension off everyone. And uh, I think we start the second half, it's a lot of people. At least we won. It's all about the scenes of the, the full time whistle. They're going to live long in your memory, aren't they? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think it was hard to work getting yeah. off the pitch in the games, to be honest. I got attacked by a few. A few big blokes <laughs> come straight in front of me, and I was a bit worried. But uh, no, it was, uh, it's, it's fantastic to do what we've done. You can see just what it means to, to so many people, can't you, with things like this happening? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, you have to. It's beer, I suppose, to, to feel the relief at the end. Um, the fans coming on, uh, just the elation really. And the lads have been made up. Uh, we haven't got to uh, work up over each win, but we certainly made up on the change room. What about the manager? What about his contribution over these last couple of years, Greg Turner? Yeah, he's done a fantastic job. Uh, him and the chairman have been brilliant. I think if you are still at the old stadium, I think the game would be enough. But uh, obviously the chairman's got a great... Uh, Stadium brought in the manager that's done the business for him. Uh, the gaff has led the team well and picked the right size at the right time. And he served all the, uh, 
accolades again. It's always been an ambitious club, Shrewsbury Town, and, and life at League One would hopefully be a springboard maybe for this club to, to really push on now, perhaps. Yeah, I think we get crowds like this every week. I don't think uh, there'll be many uh, coming here wanting to play. So it's, uh, we've, we've played great football as well throughout the season. So I think that's what you've got to do in League, league One. I hope you've got better football you've got to play. And I think we played great football all season. And you personally waited a long time for this, haven't you, to finally be a promotion winner? Definitely, yeah. It's, uh, I've been so near and so far. I mean, <laughs> you start to wonder if it's ever going to happen, but I can put that on your CD now. And it's uh, brilliant. And you're proud, aren't you, to captain this, this bunch of players? Yeah, they're a great bunch of players. We, we, we very, very argue, we very rarely disagree, we just, everyone gets on with their jobs and it's, it's, it's just a good change room to be in. Um, the lads look after each other, and that's good to see. Well done Ian, really pleased for you. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Yeah, very buzzing, uh, I think uh, champagne's on to made a bit here, but it's a, it's a great occasion and it's what we deserved all season. Three promotions, where does this one raise? Uh, it's up there, yeah. Definitely, like every promotion is great, and uh, it's great to see how many lads have been promoted. It's great to see their faces. What I've been with uh, three before, and it's a great occasion, obviously. And it had to be James Collins, didn't it, with the unimportant goal before he's been in second half of the season? Yeah, it had to be, yeah, like he's a top goal scorer. Like, his ratio to uh, goals per game is uh, very good, and he's deser he deserves it with all his hard work, you know. He's fighting to get in the team and he's kept in, and that's what pays hard work. And you can see how much it means to the fans where they all came onto the pitch and, and it's still celebrating. Yeah, still celebrating now and it's just an unbelievable feeling for everyone who's involved in Shrewsbury, especially the fans, you know, they've been waiting for 15 years, as I've heard, but, you know, it's just a great effort from everyone and the fans are brilliant today. How good a feeling is it actually to make so many people so happy? Uh, it's unbelievable, especially as you just seen when we was up to the top there. You had your main singing, <laughs> it was just quite, quite funny. But it's just an unbelievable day, and you just got to enjoy the, these times in your career because you don't get many of them. Is he always singing in the dressing room as well, Jermaine? No, he's the, to be fair, he's the shyest man in the dressing room. So everyone was shocked when he uh, started singing. So <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's just got a. He's a great lad, but I'm a bit uh, those uh, shot bangs onto my head a bit. So I'm in clay nine right now, so it's a great feeling. You want to enjoy these moments, of course, uh, first and foremost. But quick thoughts on, on, on life in League One. How exciting is that? The prospect of playing against your Portsmouth and Coventry. Yeah, it's very exciting, you know. It's just it's football in the day. And it's, it's what we play for. That's what we uh, play to do. Like playing as high, high as you can. And we're in League One next season. It's well deserved, and it'd be good for us to go play at. Better grounds and it's a big achievement. Well done today, well done over the season, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. And here's Graham Turner, ladies and gentlemen. Leather suit yours, isn't it? <laughs> And the medical team following up. We, uh, He's going to start up. We're about to push this up the hill. We're going to start the first goal. All the steamboat. Just again. <laughs> Is this a new experience for you? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it hopefully be lots of people when we get there and it's uh, obviously a great experience to get promoted. Is it still all a bit surreal being involved in this sort of situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, the pretty sinking yesterday because of the way we played. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, I'm sure it'll come to real now when uh, we get down there now.
Yes. Um, a big day of celebration for everybody. You got the player of the year to later on. You got to pace yourself, I suppose. Yeah, it'll be a messy day, going then, but the lads have earned it. Big sacrifices throughout the year, and uh, I've had to uh, put up with a lot. So it's been uh, hopefully be a good, great day now. Thank you, thank you ladies and gentlemen for your amazing support. Everybody on the bus here greatly encouraged, very well done. Well, very well done, ladies and gentlemen. Great to see so many of you supporting Shrewsbury Town. Very well done. And Graham Turner and the chairman and all of the players. Many, many thanks for your support. great support. Thank you for turning out and supporting the lads. Very well done. Well Joe, what do you make of the turnout today? It's been unbelievable. You look around and you know there's loads of people who just come and show their support to everyone. Um, you know, we, this is what we're doing is we want to show our support back to them and um, give them something to have a look at, be proud of and uh, as a town I think they can be proud of everyone and you know, it's been a great year and to top all off with this it's just been fantastic. Is this a first for you to be involved on an open top? No, actually I was involved a few years ago at Bristol and it was a pretty similar thing and it just shows you know there's so many people come and support the team, you know. We get what's it, five, six thousand playing fans every week. Last week, last week there was nearly ten thousand. Then it just shows, you know, everyone, everyone's pulling together in this town. Wants the club to do well, and it's just been brilliant. Has it exceeded your own expectations, and on half the season runs to the third round of the FA Cup and Carling Cup as well? Yeah, we've had some great cup runs as well as get promotion, you know, everyone here want, wanted to get promotion at the beginning of the season, that's what we set our, our sights on and, you know, we've worked hard and hopefully it's all come together at the end and, and uh, you know, I think we've thoroughly deserved it. And you, you, you're doing quite a bit of videoing yourself, you want to savour every yeah. moment of this, clearly. Yeah, you do, these moments don't, don't come around, don't come around a lot, you know, there's not many players in football who have uh, promotions in front of so many people on the streets and things like that so you know it's it's one of them things that you'll never forget and I want to take some videos and pictures and just remember what it's all about. Great to see you all, thanks for your support today, thanks for coming out in such great numbers. Okay. It's a sea of yellow and blue here. It's a tremendous scenes we've got. Thank you.
great support on your behalf. On your behalf, a very big congratulations to this man here, Graham Turner. I told you you Very good, very good. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for his great support. On your behalf, on your behalf, a very big congratulations to this man here, Graham Turner. this Graham tremendous turnout <laughs> unbelievable isn't it the uh, interest in the club the loyalty to the club supporters have had a long wait for this day for the day last week when the lads parted afterwards I understand I don't know whether any of you saw them in town we might be well uh, might well be there again tonight but thanks very much for all the support throughout the season throughout the 18 year long wait for a league promotion. Thanks for that, we'll see you all next year. I just want to thank you. Uh, I know it's been a long wait. I didn't think it was 18 years, but um, I just want to thank you all for your support. Thank you very, very much indeed. And we'll see you in League One next year. Hello, George, how are you? Are you okay? <laughs> 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 